All right, Spanish Supremacy Villagers. Here we go again. Here we go, here we go, here we go again. Uh, oh, here we go again. Hindustani's nine range hand cannoneers are terrifying uh, for us. We'll have to somehow protect. Protect and boom here. Protect and boom. Hindu Sun is a very good booming civilization, so that's not great for us. Other than that, though, not the worst matchup. Spanish supremacy is not an easy strat to pull off, though. Under any circumstance. Maybe TC over here. Help with the board. Say no more, just help with that board. <clears throat> Taking the tiny advantages that we can. Wall him in so he had the castle drop in his base in the last game. That's pretty funny. I don't know if that would have worked too well. I, I think we actually have to... Uh, Actually, go over here. It's probably better. Let's go like 26 pop up. Just take a nice chill, chill approach. We're gonna be booming anyway. Now you scout. <laughs> oh, I forgot something.
That's bad. Market, blacksmith, oh, not yet. Actually, not that bad. Uh, this is bad, though. Go auto. Greedy Bing Bong. It's automatic, and there's nothing you can do. Maybe like a TC over here, TC over there. It's all good. Mostly in the food business here. Cool, but I don't have that many on there. Probably get this, the next upgrade. Uh, it is Supremacy Villagers. I know. I know. Looks like he has a slightly nicer build order than I do. Or maybe we have slightly more techs. It's fine. I'm carrying for Kessiter. Where's my dude located? Start going into that. Yes. to drop another TC here. Oh, he double scouted. That's fine. Not quite. Mm 
Free TC? No, this is worth it. I'm I'm coom and booming over here. Got a lot of the uh, the food stuff. Food stuff. I got this right. Yeah. Okay. We don't need that anymore. Hole at the bottom wood line. Thank you. Oh. Another one. Chat, man. It's about time to go up. Now to make my military buildings. I need more stone. Make it at least seem like Resources could be collected from it. That's not great.
Piggy knows. We're mixing some siege. Just because he went full cav archers. We have to adapt a little bit here. Charge! 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 Oh, there's a there's a hand cannon yours. Oh my gosh. It's a going. Killed all the cow archers. Nice.
fast fire on them. More of these. Chemistry. Ballistics. Raid. Kill them all. Cancel this. Drop that. Oh, no way. Not using mangonels? How, how do you beat hand cannoneers without using mangonels? I think Siege is allowed. Siege is allowed. The majority of the kills was done by the Villagares. Soup NPC, are you pleased? Let's, let's ask the man himself. Is you pleased? Did we do a good job? Oh, look. Soup NPC says, Wow, Poop Lord, that is the best Spanish villager rush I have seen ever. Thank you so much for that strat. I love you and I appreciate you. Wow. I totally didn't make that up. That was so epic. I mean, the, 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 what's it called? The, the, uh, the mangoes. <laughs> he dropped another $2. Just Just that was great. I think the, Mangonels really helped because he had a bunch of cav archers over here and when that mangonel just spawned out the villagers They would have all just died I would have to have a huge group and then charge them because he was focusing over on this area So as soon as that happened, I was like, oh pop out a couple mangoes here and boof Bye bye cav archers. That's the one big downside of cav archers I don't think he was expecting this big of a stream of continual villagers. We were almost at 200 pop at one point point. Uh, would have been a lot of click work to destroy his base here, but it's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Bingy. Thank you, Bun. Thank you, Baron. And he was 1600 ELO, so I feel pretty pleased with that. I feel pretty dang pleased with that. That is not an easy thing to do, to beat somebody with full Spanish supremacy villagers at 16 100 ELO or above and this guy has a 52% win rate. So he's up and coming. He's going to the moon this guy He's going to the moon This one loss is not going to stop him. It's going to propel him. Wow. Look at look at the timeline it, We're about 50 50 eco. I Think he just needs to not overreact here and make more, I mean, I guess he, he lost all of his military in the end, right? Because he's not dead, I don't think. Although these castles on his face are pretty brutal. Um, I normally like to mix in bombard towers uh, instead, but I was a little bit worried it would take too long with the university. We didn't even get ballistics yet. Um, the range upgrade is definitely more important than probably ballistics, than chemistry. Uh, because you need something to stand under and mass up. And I think that's exactly what my opponent did not do, is mass up. If he would have been able to mass up those hand cannoneers, it's GG. I can never push that. He can just kill all of my villagers one by one by one by one. Even with the insane boost in their overall HP and defense, um, they just get shot. The only plus side for me is that they only cost 50 food. So look how easy they are replenishable. 
but the military buildings are are difficult to keep up with like they're coming all the way from down here we only have what is that seven seven tcs thankfully seven tcs was enough maybe i should have added additional tcs as well i'm just overthinking here memes memes and dreams poop lord out